Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 10th of October 1957, US President Dwight D. Eisenhower apologised to Ghanaian Finance Minister Komla Gbedema after he was refused service in a Delaware restaurant. Ghana was the first sub-Saharan black African nation to gain independence from colonial rule on the 6th of March, 1957. Komla Gbedema had held the position of Minister of Finance in the government since 1954, and he soon began seeking outside funding for the ambitious Akasombo Dam that was intended to supercharge the country's economy. In October 1957, Gbedema visited the United States in an attempt to secure money for the project. Aluminium companies were interested in using power from the hydroelectric dam to process bauxite, but they needed reassurances about the cost of the electricity. This was entirely dependent on how much foreign investment could be secured to fund the dam's construction. Having stopped at a Howard Johnson restaurant in the Delaware city of Dover, Gbedemar and his secretary ordered a glass of orange juice. After serving their drinks in takeaway containers, the waitress told them that coloured people are not allowed to eat in here. Despite being shown proof that Gbedemar was the finance minister of Ghana, the manager also refused to compromise. Gbedema reportedly left the restaurant, saying that the white people here are of a lower social status than I am, but they can drink here and we can't. You can keep the orange juice and the change, but this is not the last you've heard of this. When news of the incident reached the president, Eisenhower apologised to the finance minister and invited him to breakfast at the White House, where he warmed to the idea of the Akasombo Dam project. Thank you.